Hey guys, ByteFireH12 here, and welcome back to yet another all-secret thing. Or, what if Adventure Time was the 3D anime game? Now I know, this, this, this previous video, the previous beta, got me all the way up to over 400 subscribers for the first one, but you know what? I figured, yeah, he, he released the final version of his updated, or not final version, an updated version of the game, which included a, a couple more secrets and everything. Which, you know... I'm gonna go and show you guys some it, some of them. Simple enough, right? So, first things first. First ones first. Wishing orbs. Also, before I actually go into this, I'm going to also show you guys the like where every, everything is, like a video and video thing. So, the wishing orbs. Obviously, find all the wishing orbs. So. Next one. Uh, let's go this way. It's easier that way. Adventure Time finishes finish Quinn's quest, which is really simple. All you have to do is just go through the entire main storyline, fight Ice King, fight Marceline, talk to Jake, and it'll pop up. Lost Fish, Princess Flying Fish. These are also like a lot of previous ones from like the previous version, so it's pretty much the same exact thing. All you have to do is find her after, uh, I think after fighting Ice King, I don't really remember exactly how it goes, but yeah, once you get her, actually, let me look that up really quick, just, and she'll give you an upgrade, which is also for that part, but anyway, the snail, the snail is still in the same exact place as it was in the previous game, right in the eyes room. Fiona the human, discover the gender bent dimension. Okay, this one's, so you have to follow a certain uh, pathway in the repeating maze. But she's only accessible after you beat Marceline, alright? In Finn's quest. So you go to the repeating maze, you go right, left, left, right, and there will be the portal. You enter it, and boom, you'll become Finn Fiona the Human, and you'll get the achievement. 2D waifus. Okay, so. How do you actually get this? You actually need the hack for it, which is in one of the hidden areas called the school. So after you, like, go through the school, collect the, uh,. Uh, outfit in there. All you have to do after that is, uh, well, it'll unlock like pictures that you have to do, which is it's easier shown. So I'll just show it where all the pictures are and everything. And how you do it, you change it, you change the time of the whatever of the area to match what's in the picture. Once you get the two D waifus, then you have to go see Bimo, Marceline, Marshall Lee, Prince Gum Gumball, Princess Bubblegum. Uh, who else? Flame Princess, which she'll be in Fiona's world. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's see. Ice Queen. And... I think that's all of them. Oh, and Breakfast Princess. And, yeah, you... you got, after you see them all as a 2D form, you get the achievement.
I've seen everything. Okay, so you know how, how you could just hit the light switch in Ice King's room after you beat him? Well, you do that, then you look at the TV. It shows a lot of perverted images in, on that. So then you just like do it like complete 360 a couple of times until you start to get to a repeated image. But also, that's for only Ice King's TV. And Ice Queen's, she has the same exact thing. You look at it with the uh, with the flashlight on and spin around twice. I think there's only two images for Ice Queen's. Very naughty. All right. I see you, Marceline. Okay, so I see you, Marceline. Once again, just like in the previous game, you get the you get Breakfast Princess to egg her, and you talk to her, say, "Oh, what's that on your face?" Also, make sure you have either the Pooh Brain Horse following you, or you have the 4D Sword for this. So once you get to that, she say, "Oh, I gotta take a shower." Then you can like get the Pooh Brain Horse to like uh, end up right behind you, like right by the ladder. You jump up and look at her, and Keep looking at her until you, you get the achievement. Same deal, except you only need the 4D sword for Marshall. Although, correction, you have to egg Marceline, because Breakfast Princess isn't in Fiona's world. So yeah, you egg Marshall, uh, Marceline, go to the breakfast, go back to the gender bent world, and Marshall Lee will have it on his face, and he'll just do the same thing over and over, blah, blah, blah. Collect all swords. Okay, every single sword in the game is fun to do. Alright, first sword is the golden sword, which is the very first sword you can get, which is you have to enter the long pathway in the twilight zone after you go through Beamless High and Seek and get the hammer and blah blah blah. The root sword is found at the end of the eye room for by Finn. The demon blood sword is the fireball hallway in Fiona's world, which is a lot more difficult. The question mark, question mark, question mark sword. You have to hold Q, press... Hold Q, press right up, down, 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 up, right. I'll repeat that. Right, up, down, 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 up, right. When you have a sword. Any other sword. And you'll get the question mark, question mark, question mark sword. The 4D sword. It's found past the eyes. Uh, it's the zone locked behind a zone requiring you to defeat the Ice Queen. That's like... In the... What's it called? Where the root sword was, pretty much, in Fiona's world. And the final sword is Finn's sword, which you have to get by defeating the real Finn. Which we'll get into that when we get to there, because that's a really tough battle. <laughs> Next one Mega Milk, obviously. You have to get the Ultima Tatas hack and look at all the girls with it on there, with it turned on, which just makes their boobies. Big! <laughs> and to get the actual hack, to get the actual hack, go to the up to the repeating maze, take the path up, right, up, left, and then it'll be floating in the center. And pick it up, talk to BMO, and he'll activate it, and yeah. Clothes, got all clothes. There are so many clothes in this game. <laughs> but it's all the same, pretty much the same puzzle. So. Alright, so to get uh, Finn's loot suit. You have to uh, complete Flynn, Flynn's story and complete the lava room as Fiona to get the masquerade suit. There are, th there are, all, are three s holes in the ceilings of the entrance zone, which you have to use the 4D sword to fly up to them. And, you know, there's uh, jumping stages, pretty much, where you have to like, collect orbs to unlock the clothing. But there, up there, there is Ritz cape, Chris's armor, and the gym clothes. Those Two of those are for... Finn, one of those, and the gym clothes are for Fiona. Alright, so in, in the hole where you first find the Pooh-Brained Horse, use the spirit form again, once again, to go through the hole, and in there will be the school, which is where you also get the 2D waifu, waifu hack. Once you go through there, collect all the orbs again, and boom, you'll get, uh... Sailor, fuck you. <laughs> While Fiona, you have to do the Simon Says bit again, once, once you do that and you ride the platform up, it'll be up there, where one of the old abilities was. It'll be the torn party gown. Alright. On the outside of the hole where you find the poop brain torch, there are two holes in the ceiling. Use spear form to fly up there. Once again, there's some more uh, jumping, jumping puzzles and everything. But in it, you can get Garnet suit, 
for the first one, I think closest to the hole, and the one that's farther farther from the hole, or I don't really remember where they exactly are, you'll get uh, B's Cat Apron. From the future Met Flame Princess, that's like like I said, for the uh, public, for, I don't remember if it, is flame, if it is public or private, but just defeat the worm twice and you go talk, and she'll be sitting there on where Breakfast Princess was. Beat Ice Queen, once again just beat Ice Queen, which is basically Fiona's story. Abilities and upgrades. Oh boy. All right, so for the abilities, I'm just gonna go through them randomly. An infinite dash is located on top of Marceline's house as Fiona. Change sword is located where Hambo is for Finn. Uh, double health you have to buy from uh, Breakfast Princess after you collect the squishies, which are basically dicks on the beach, and she'll be like, oh yeah, I can make special potions now. The last chance is in the magical barrier in Fiona's world. Auto collect you had to buy from uh, uh, Breakfast Princess again. Double stamina, buy from Breakfast Princess again as well. By the way, each one costs a thousand coins. Dash is in the lava room. As Finn. Recover is on top of Marceline's house as Finn. Double jump is in the scientific room. And that's all of them. For science, I unlocked everyone's naked form, which is you need the question mark, question mark, question mark sword. You attack it, fill the bar up, and use it on all of the adult women and men. It speeds up if you use if you use the ultimate Tata's hack first. So yeah, you just basically use the question mark, question mark, question mark sword, and you can see all the nudity you want. Hambo, you find Hambo in the twilight. Now the crossroads section. I don't remember what the exact name of it is right now, but you fly up to the very top and you can talk to him. You can like, as Finn, you have to do it as Finn. Fly up to the very top, hit it and, or not hit it, just interact with it and boom. You'll get the achievement. And drop down for that little easter egg. <sighs> Farted, aka fight the real Finn, which is the hell of a boss battle. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, go through the Hamble world and you'll be able to, uh... Uh... Unlock it. Which... T I'll give you a little strategy. Use the 4D sword. Hit him four times, dash, and keep doing that. For, the for He has three, uh... Three different phases. No, four different phases. First phase is just one where you start out with like full health, three fourths health, and then half health in the last phase, which, which is everything above. So, first phase, he will just like attack you and use a lightning attack. That's like a very area of effect and everything. So, yeah, you just like hit, like attack him four times, dash, attack him four times, dash. Keep doing that. He'll like eventually, like after like the fifth combo, he will guard block you. Hopefully you'll be able to get his health down to the three fourths, which is really sh the three fourths one is really annoying. He will jump up into the air, launch some fireballs around, get, get down to the ground, launch some lasers at you, and he'll also uh, guard break you more often. So yeah, four hits and the dash again. Make sure you have like all the potions, by the way. You'll need it. Uh, third phase is. Probably the almost the hardest in my opinion because he guard breaks you every single combo. So here's my strategy for it: attack him four times. After since I'm flying, he'll he'll automatically do the guard guard. So wait till he drops down and then just repeat. It's really simple. So the final phase is where he does everything that you just went through. But he also has a shield that you had to break th the three crystals around it to get it to break it. So yeah, it's a hard boss fight. It took me about 10 tries to get it. And there again, he'll like... He'll like do an attack that like... Looks like it kills you, but it actually ends the... It's actually... The end of the... You'll, you know what I mean. <sighs> so yeah. There you go. That's all the secrets in Patreon Beta 8.5. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe. If not, that's right. I will see you guys in the next video of what I make. Bye guys.